Hello everyone. My name is Edwin K. Edwin Kusemererwa. Uh, I am a singer, songwriter, I am a social activist, an artist who uses music to put a spotlight on issues affecting girls, women, and children. I am who I am today. What of the decision I did yesterday? Edwin K. You can you be what you want what tomorrow. You want to I'm coming to show you how some girls have been able to empower themselves during this lockdown. How some girls have come up with small ideas to come up with something small that they would use to earn a little or a living for themselves besides being hindered by the lockdown. As we all know that the country has been hit by teenage pregnancies as a result of idleness of girls being idle, not necessarily only girls, but we the youth have been so idle because there has not, the schools have not been open for a while. So very many girls have gotten problems of, uh, have, have been affected by teenage pregnancies and others have been affected with so many other kind of abuse and violence. So amidst all these circumstances, there are some girls who have been empowered by their parents. They have been supported by their parents to come up with something small, okay, to come up with simple ideas like crafts, making crafts, making shoes, making different things to earn them a living. And so we saw that there was a reason for us to show you some of these girls. And today I am so glad that I've been able to find one of them and I'm so glad that I'm going to be sharing with her. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm alright. Would you mind introducing yourself? My name is Asenja Inik, known as Inik Bita. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a student and I'm doing tourism at UWTI. What is UWTI in full? Uganda Wildlife Training Institute. Okay, where can we find that? In Mweya. So, Inik, we are, we are so grateful that you're still in school and you're still a student. And we are so happy that you've started up something like this. And which most girls have not been able to start up. So, I want to know who inspired you to do this and who maybe supported you to start up something like this. Yeah, actually... I got inspired during the lockdown, the first lockdown, that's when I started to learn. I got, an, I got the idea in the first lockdown when, they, when the president kept adding us months by months. I was idle and didn't have what to do. So I requested my dad to give me something to start up with. And he took me for training, I learned. By three weeks I had learned and started out the project. It has helped me a lot. I can buy myself pads without informing mom and dad. I can buy myself data without begging any other person. This has helped me. It has helped me in a way that I don't beg boys. Because boys will beg a return back. They want you to pay back. Of which I can get them by myself. I can get data. So I'm fine. Oh, wow. I am, I am really so excited about what your parents did for you. There are very few parents that always come up with ideas to help their children to start up small things like this. But then, I am so happy that your dad was able to help you, to give you a little that he could, so that he could be able to protect you and to keep you productive, to make sure that you can be able to get something for yourself in your own strength in your own energy using a little skills that you have so that you can be able to get money for yourself maybe to buy pads and some few things that ladies need the key thing that i see in your story is that parents participation in supporting their girls is so important in protecting the girl child yeah if it wasn't for my dad accepting my idea and taking me for training I wouldn't be earning the income I'm earning and providing to myself whatever I wanted. Of course, I would be getting it from other places, which you never know would be a negative or would bring negative things to me. Okay, there are some parents who think that 
there are girls to be there they need to be depending on some people because in some cultures they support that because they see that girls have reached an age of getting married but we are so glad that there are some parents like yours who come out and say no my girl needs to be empowered not only by education but by skills maybe hand skills that can make this and we are so glad that that is an example that we can show to very many people out there I think this is a message I should give out we should learn from her and from her parents I think it is high time that our parents came up and supported us with a little they can because with the girls we it might not be really we, it might not be easy for us to come up with something to start up I mean money it might require a parent a hand of a parent to come in to give us a little so that we can add on the skills we have because it starts with you to make us what we are so it is so interesting of what i've heard about your story and i'm so happy that this is what you're doing uh i wanted to know how much you sell these these shoes because i see some of them have a nice soul a soul i see they have a nice soul so and they look to be so original. I see they look to be so nice. Some of them are having rugaviri. What we can call rugaviri. Rugaviri. So, <laughs> so I wanted to know how much would this one cost and how much would this one also cost because I'm seeing this one is more, it, this one is lighter than this one. So how much would each one of them cost? Okay, like according to this one, mm. according to the shoe soles, it is always by one's choice. There are people who want light shoes and there are those who want some kind of heavy shoes. Mm. So this is 15k and this is 10k. Mm. The difference is just because this sole is more expensive than the Ruger Bells. So, I didn't understand that word. I didn't understand the Ruger Bells. So, Anyway, the one we can call Rugavire in our own language. <laughs> okay, so you have heard. For those who want my shoes, come to Inik. You can find me on my media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook as Inik Bita or Inik Craft. Okay, so now we have known that this is, we are working with, we are actually interviewing Inik Craft. So if you want a shoe for yourself, please. There is these ones. I hear this is the mic microwave. Yeah, microwave. This is the microwave. And this one is a... Uh, this one is a rugavia. She called it a rugavia. So, <laughs> so this is 10,000. This is 15,000. And we are so happy that in Ik, we have been here. We are so excited that you are able to accept us to come and share with you. This is a story that is really, really so interesting. And very many people would like to learn from you. They would like to learn from other girls who are also there who are doing something for themselves so that they are able to also make money for themselves because very many parents have not been there to support their girls. Thank you so much, Ini, for accepting us to use your story to inspire very many girls out there, especially in our district. Because our district has been hit so much by teenage pregnancies and early marriages and most of the time... And most of the time, girls have gone ahead to go and seek for parts from boys in exchange with sex, and that is not really something good. That is why some organizations have come up to give out parts to girls in the district, but that is not really a sustainable thing. That is why I'm coming up with Enix Story to inspire a parent out there and a girl out there if you have a skill. Please use it so well. You can do something. You might even be doing some something better than this but we are so happy that Inik is doing that for herself maybe you have some other skill you can do for yourself please do that so Inik any last words yeah my last word is that I thank my parents for having supported me and I request all the other parents around our district mm -hmm. that you can support your your children in any other activities not necessarily crafts but to keep them busy and protect them under early pregnancy.
I'm so glad to have shared with Inik and maybe next time it might be you, it might be your daughter or your son or someone else. If you're there and you also have a, a story you want to share with the world, you want to share it with Edwin K, Edwin Kusemerere, we will be so glad to share it. Very many parents or girls can be inspired. I am who I am today What of the decision I did yesterday Adrian K You can be what you want tomorrow